Can you focus on my face? Da da da. So tomorrow, I will be surprising my friend in Adelaide. Cheyenne invited me to her baby shower. Uh, yeah, baby shower. <laughs> I was gonna say wedding, but that was last year. I originally couldn't come because that was legitimate, but then I did some things. I had an amazing time in Adelaide last time, so I just thought, why not? Her husband Simon knows, and her friend Ivana knows, but no one else knows. I'm so excited. I don't know if you can tell. Also, I was looking through my suitcase, found this. <laughs> Put the light on. Bring the light. Oh, look how good my hair color is. Technical difficulties. Are you ready? It's the cookie that was at the table at their wedding, uh, and it says Cheyenne and Simon, 12th of March, 2021. Is my beautiful friend Cheyenne and I at her wedding? I don't think it's still edible. I don't think it's a good idea to eat that. <laughs> Anyway, tomorrow I'll be at the airport at about 7 in the morning. We're gonna have a great time in Adelaide. <laughs> it's 6 in the morning and I'm just sculling my coffee before I head to the airport. I'm so excited. I could not tell you how good it felt to finally be able to travel again. And also just being able to travel alone is like the additional icing to the cake. I absolutely love it. I could do it a million times over. I made it onto my flight and when I checked my seats probably two hours before I made it to the airport it looked like there were people sitting next to me but to my amazement there was absolutely no one so me and my really long legs were able to stretch on the flight and it was a really comfortable flight. I think I was just really excited overall to not only be able to travel but also knowingly in a couple of hours I'm about to surprise one of my oldest friends so I'm filming almost everything but I do particularly remember filming all the turbulence and the takeoffs and landings because those are my favorite part about flying. I know those typically scare most people, but, but I really don't think there is anything to be afraid of. Anyway, you can never mistake Sydney's skyline. It is always really beautiful and I really enjoy staring at it every single time I have the opportunity to. Then I watched Jellica's vlog while eating breakfast. I did make a dad joke about having breakfast with a view, so there was that. <laughs> And I was traveling on Easter Sunday, so the flight attendant came around and gave us an Easter bunny each, which was really cute. And I genuinely don't even think I can articulate how excited I was just to see the coastline. Pretty much no, in less than about two hours, I will be surprising my friend. I just landed in Adelaide, but I'm waiting for the Uber. I'm gonna head to the hotel, hopefully get ready, changed, and then head to surprise Cheyenne for her baby shower and Simon's, <laughs> but he knows. <laughs> Uh, I just got to my hotel. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Apparently the mini bar is complimentary. I wish there was water in this. Tea. Tea. Boring. Boring. Who's she? She's cute. And then this is the bathroom. Like, looks really, looks really romantic. All the selfies I will be taking in front of this mirror. Maybe that one too. While I'll be rummaging through the drawers to try to find toothbrush and toothpaste because I forgot that, I'm going to tell you about my friend Cheyenne because, oh, the drawers are empty. The drawers are Two very boring minutes later. So I have known her a very long time. She's one of my oldest friends. I met her when we used to work in a pharmacy together. I'm pretty sure I took her to her first ever concert. She'll correct me if I'm wrong. I'm also certain it was My Chemical Romance. It was either that or just a, an equally emo band. Yeah, I went to her and Simon's wedding last year. That was really beautiful, so much fun. I wish I had vlogged that trip as well, but mm, here we are. Today, I'll be hopefully surprising her at her baby shower, so we'll see how that goes. I don't think she'll cry. I don't think she'll re react too much. I should also tell you guys, on the flight, I met this lady, her name was Diana, and I just had a feeling let me backtrack. <laughs> so on this trip, I brought a couple of X copies 
and let me just show you i had one in my carry-on just prepared in case i felt like giving it to someone or i don't know in case maybe i felt like leaving it somewhere sometimes i just drop it and leave it wherever i was sitting the note on the cover says i know life can get a bit tough but you matter we are not defined by our past or our mistakes rather the people we become through them keep going keep becoming i hope you enjoy the read love Jeanette. so as i was saying i met this lady her name was diana she had a really beautiful face she was really smiley and she offered me some easter eggs mid-flight speckled easter eggs from daryl lee which are usually mm, 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 decadent and delicious but i, I declined <laughs> i had a feeling when i originally saw her that she was the person I was supposed to give this book to. I sometimes get a bit awkward with this stuff and I'm like, oh, what if they don't like poetry? What if they're not a big reader? What if they don't want me to approach them? People love their own personal space kind of thing. So it was then and there when she offered me the speckled Easter eggs that I asked her, I'm like, hey, do you like poetry? Do you like reading? I wrote this book. I like writing about my experiences to help others go through human experience and life essentially and so I gave this to her and when she read this like I turned around after I gave it to her to put my bag back and she was really she was bro you good <laughs> anyway she was really teary and it was it was really sad but at the same time I'm like this is the this is the reason why I do this and this is the reason why I do I write these little notes and leave them randomly this is the reason why I not only write but publish my work and share my work like this and some people are like oh what about the money blah 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 and it's like yes that's great obviously I do need an income but at the same time if I know my work is going to affect someone's mental health or change their day for the better there is no hesitation for me with that that made my day yeah <laughs> before i do go wow that lighting is amazing <laughs> i do realize they actually did give water so i'm gonna put them in the fridge i just felt like one of those videos that you watch on tiktok or something how they're refilling their fridge with all of these snacks and drinks and things it would have been awkward if oh, someone was yeah. standing there <laughs> All the cafes that are in my guide to go to are closed today because I forgot it's Easter. Happy Easter! And I just walked around the city and came across this garden and lake which had a no swimming sign. Go figure. It's so clean. Back in the hotel room, I got my toothbrush and toothpaste that I very intelligently left at home. So I'm just going to now freshen up again, get ready to actually go to... Get ready to go to their baby shower and I am extremely excited. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it is this little Colgate thing. <laughs> Look how small it is. Wow, I feel like an influencer now. Guys, this is the product. I highly recommend it. Okay. That reminds me, this is the bottom ring. I got that from Kirribilli Markets last week when I went with Justine. My ring's off. I also bought a lot of water and added it to the fridge. Gotta stay hydrated. Moments later. Oh yeah. Look, I decided, you know what? Why not? That face wasn't, oh, this is gross. It's actually tasty. I just realized all I've had today is the food that I ate on the flight. So I, we'll just leave that there. I just started recording to show you this. Okay, bye. Okay, I had a shower. I'm just putting my jewelry on now. <laughs> I'm also wearing the shirt and I will show you the heels. <laughs> Oh, wow.
lovely people I had met at Shy and Simon's wedding last year. That's Nakoma and Shy and of course Simon. Get in all those angles. <laughs> Played some games. Nakoma was hosting pretty much the whole day and she did such an incredible job. This is us trying to decorate bibs using crayons. It was really difficult. We were told there were no winners, but you know, mine was was really up there. <laughs> what a babe. I love you. Shy, I love you. You're gonna be watching this later and you have no idea I'm saying this about you. <laughs> I'm back at the hotel. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was a really beautiful day. It was so nice to surprise her and see her reaction to everything. I think it was planned really beautifully. Simon and Ivana were just amazing for keeping the secret and helping making help making it happen. So now I'm back at the hotel. I'm going to scull water and then I'm hopefully going to find something really yummy to eat. Hi Cheyenne! She just messaged me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Also, <laughs> also yeah. the weather here has been literally like Sydney. It's so unpredictable. It was so beautiful today. It was supposed to be like, I think like 28 degrees or something. Yesterday was 30 something. It started raining. On the way there, it started raining. And now, well, it's pretty cold out. So, <laughs> on goes the hoodie. <laughs> I've been laughing at this, so hopefully hopefully you will too, but picture my picture my outfit before and now this is what I'm wearing. Guys, <laughs> the restaurant that I went to last time, I think it's called Udaberry, is like a three minute walk from my hotel, so that's where I'm going now. Yum. Alright, scratch that. <laughs> Yay, it's raining again. <laughs> Now I'm trying the third different restaurant because the other two were closed or I don't remember. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Just wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> you said it was open online, but when I got there, it was closed. So I'm gonna try this next place called Sunny's, which is a pizza place. I took my makeup off. I don't know if you can tell because my face is always this immaculate. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have an early night. It's 8.30. <laughs> Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think I had about an hour and a half to two hours worth of sleep last night anyway. Tomorrow, even more exciting news, I was going to go to a museum or an art gallery. In intended to do that on my own because I have no expectation for my friends to you know, make make time because it was obviously a surprise. And then Cheyenne messages me saying, I don't know why I said her name like that. Shy sent me a message saying she would love to see me. I'm really looking forward to that. So tomorrow we're either going to the art gallery or museum, maybe both. And I'm really excited. So see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, you can tell I just woke up. What I'm working with. My jewelry, my makeup, and then I'm just gonna take that bag. I also want to find two people or two locations to leave these at. You guys would know because you probably watched my other vlogs and the day in the life video, but this is also how organized I am when traveling. This is the morning side, this is my clothes for the day, and then this is the nighttime. Obviously, toothbrush and toothpaste is both. I'm just gonna shower, get ready, and then find some coffee. Hopefully places are actually open today. <laughs> it was a struggle putting my makeup on today. There's not a lot of natural lighting, so I have to use the artificial lighting in here, but the bad thing about it is it's directly above you. It doesn't actually face. Boring! Let's, let's have a look outside my window. Oh, speaking of, I asked for a really good view in the room. 
I'm, I'll just show you what I got. Oh my god, wow. Isn't that... Isn't that the most beautiful view in Adelaide? <laughs> no, but seriously, there is another. There is another window, but it's also not that good. But I'll just show you. Sun's coming out. Yeah, they really need to clean their windows, but um, the Hague's chocolate shop is just on the corner there. That way it's Rundle Mall. So I'm in a great location. It's not the best for makeup. That's that's really what the people want. <laughs> Now I'm, now I'm going to do something really exciting. It's something I've always wanted to do, but never done. Well, I have done it, but I want to do it again. Where's my sock? Okay, hang on a minute. Two moments later. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, let's go hopefully find some really good coffee. Maybe some breakfast, and then we're meeting Shy later. Yay! I'm literally standing in the middle of the street in the city to take this footage. And there's no cars. <laughs> but look at that background. Looks cool. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Fun fact, about three randoms walked up to me to ask where I got this coffee because everything else was closed and that thing in the background is legitimately called the mall's balls. Hello! Hello. How are you? <laughs> Ooh, this is just on a random corner in Adelaide. 99 problems but having COVID ain't one. True. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Shy and I then made our way to the South Australian Museum. <laughs> Is this the South Australian Museum? Yes. Okay. We're in the South Australian Museum and we're trying to find the latest exhibition. Well, I am anyway. I'm pretty certain by now you should know what my favourite colour is, but we just looked around. Very underwhelming, so then we continued to the art gallery. I wasn't able to film, so I took a bunch of live photos and turned them into videos, and this is the footage that you see here. There was an exhibition on. I particularly like this SOS art by Leith McGregor. <laughs> and we went to Osteria Oggi. I really hope I'm not mispronouncing that, but it was such an amazing Italian restaurant. <laughs> just, just acting natural in the middle of a restaurant. <laughs> Yum! Delicious! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can guess what my favorite color is. Mmm, that's nice. This lighting's good. <laughs> so today Shai and I had, well I had an amazing day. It was so nice to spend that much time with her. I hugged her for as long as I could. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing her tomorrow. I think we're having dinner together, so that will be nice. Now I'm going to shower, change, head back out. But like, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really sure what to do. I might Google what to do in Adelaide that doesn't involve eating because I'm not hungry yet. I also forgot to mention, I did some shopping for my sister because when I get back, a week from then, that's a really confusing way to tell you. Her birthday is in late April and I currently don't have a gift so I wanted to spoil her. She deserves it. I like spoiling her throughout the year anyway but it's always extra special when it's your birthday. So I... Boring! Closer. Lift you up. Lift you up. Both with my motivational speaking and literally. <laughs> So at the moment, I'm just booking a table for Shai and I to have dinner tomorrow. It's really funny because I had just picked out my outfit for tomorrow evening, which is a leather skirt and a singlet and then a kind of jacket sort of jumper thingy on top. Like maybe like a cardigan is probably the most accurate description. And then she messages me saying, that's perfect. I'll dress warm. <laughs> I might have to reconsider then. I didn't want to take my earrings off, so I just tucked them in. Anyway, bye. <laughs>
After that, I decided to go to Haynes & Co. The last time I came here, when I visited Adelaide, I had such an amazing time. I was actually reading my book, X, at the bar and ended up leaving my book with one of the bartenders, Luca. I genuinely love rereading my work because it gives me not only a different perspective and understanding, but I also learn for myself how I can improve my writing the next time. Okay, so this is the next day and I'm just posting in front of the mirror because I really like this outfit. <laughs> I was also going to say that I laugh way too much, but there's no such thing as too much laughter. And I also think it's really important to be confident enough to be able to laugh at yourself. Not focused yet. All right, there we go. Good morning. It's now 9 a.m. I took my sweet time getting ready. Hope to find good cafes, good coffee, good food. Hopefully things are open. <laughs> I will leave soon. Okay, success. I got a double shot oat milk latte and it's really yummy. <laughs> yes, I did get another double shot oat milk latte just because I also got breakfast. They had two really interesting exhibitions on. The first one was about invisibility and and the fact that invisibility is everywhere, the concept of it was basically that it's the people we don't notice, environmental changes we can't see and AI or algorithms working behind the scenes. Things you just don't see or don't think to look at or notice. So it was trying to challenge your thought behind when does it actually become visible and is it only when you begin to pay attention. So you're supposed to get poetry when you look in the mirror and this is what I got. How glad you've been crying for long enough. <laughs> yeah, look, you know what? Crying is good. <laughs> you gotta let it out. <laughs> just pause to read this bit. The whole point of this exhibition was to challenge you and question whether you believe AI can read human emotions, behaviours, tendencies, just as well as another human could. In my perspective, it was not even close. I think human behaviour is challenging at any time and can be really easy to miss when you don't analyse all aspects like body language, reactions, speech, etc. It is way too complex. And it read most of mine wrong too, so I hope that if you do do this, you don't put any weight on the responses that you get. But was the exhibition absolutely fun and would I recommend it to others? Yes. <laughs> that was, um, that was really cool. It was, it was pretty inaccurate though, like I'm, I'm literally perfect, I don't know what, why I did that. <laughs> From Mod, I walked to the Adelaide Jail. I'm not sure why I did this because I already had blisters <laughs> and it took me an additional 20 minutes. We're really activating tourist mode today. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the outside of the jail. Adelaide Jail is known as the longest continuously operating prison in Australia and was closed in 1988, which is quite recent if you think about it. It was originally built in 1841 and housed approximately 300,000 prisoners during its 147 years of operation. So when the bricks fell, it would be heard by the guards so the prisoners couldn't escape as easily as they would hope. These are the bricks a little bit more close up. So you can see them. They're just piled up on each other so it's very easy. You can very easily just crumble and fall off. On top of the honeycomb bricks that we saw earlier, the jail had double walls which gave an added security against any escapes. Okay, now this place is it's called the Hanging Tower. The last four men executed in South Australia were hanged in this tower between the years 1953 and 64. There are two different rooms. One of the rooms was meant for the person who was meant to be executed, and the other was the room for the executioner, which contained the lever to operate the trapdoor. This wall was used for mugshots, and this is what the prisoners' cells looked like. This guy actually, what's his name? He looks like, is his name Tommy Lee Jones, the guy in Men in Black? <laughs> he kind of, I don't know, he kind of looks like him to me. This is just the other end of the jail. Then I went to the botanical gardens. Don't ask me how I am still on my feet and still walking at this point. I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> it was absolutely beautiful though and this rose garden seriously reminded me of my mum because it was so fragrant and just it smelled so beautiful that I even took a selfie and sent it to her saying 
how much it reminds me of her. Then I met this couple at Uderberry because I was sitting at the bar and it's just so easy to talk to strangers that way. We ended up talking about my poetry book X, to which I ran back to the hotel, grabbed my book just to give them the book. So I really hope they enjoy reading it. <laughs> I'm about to meet Shy for dinner. Don't know why I did that accent. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow. I don't want to leave. Uh... All right. Just one more look at this outfit because I don't know if we really appreciated it enough today. It's really important to appreciate everything in life, including outfit. <laughs> now it looks like I'm in school. All right. Let me just, let me just shower and change now. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. So this is, well, I really wanted to wear this outfit with a blue leather skirt that I have, but it's... I wasn't anticipating Adelaide to be this cold. Probably put a blazer on top and that will be my outfit for dinner. It's breezy. This is the look. This is the look. I was about to be like, this is how we do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, I haven't put my shoes on yet. Let's do that. Okay, I just, I've just finished doing my makeup for my last half day in Adelaide. This is my makeup look. This, this is how I decipher what I should be wearing and what the temperature-ish is in Adelaide. Okay, you can't see it yet because they need to clean their windows, but I just look at the people outside. Suss out if it, the ground's wet, it's raining, it's actually, yeah, it is wet today. So, I'll be wearing my hoodie. This was fun. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> you guys didn't have a choice. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, she answered. Going on this trip really reminded me that the duration of a friendship really doesn't mean anything because you could have a friend for a month who treats you better than the one you've known for years, but I found that with Shy, it is the best of both worlds. She's one of my oldest friends who I barely get to see, yet every single time I do, it is like time has never passed. If I learnt anything on this trip, it is to slow down, be even more present than I already am, appreciate the beauty in literally every aspect of your nows, because when you look back, it will feel like a blink. I also learned it is incredibly easy to make a stranger smile and even turn a stranger into a friend. I hope you enjoyed coming along to Adelaide with me. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.